This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. If you're passionate about sports, then subscribe to my videos. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your uncle. Detroit Sports World, baby. The Lions almost lose, but they win a horrible, ugly game against the Chicago Bears. 27 to 24. Come on. Come on. We know the Lions are better than this. The defense got exposed. The offense got exposed. The running game got exposed. Literally, Howard ran all over, through, under, whatever you call it, did whatever he wanted to do to the Detroit Lions, and the Lions were supposed to have that, you know, the, def the defensive line, and I know Ziggy wasn't playing, he was out, but the defensive line struggled to get pressure. And Trubisky, yeah, he's a mobile quarterback, but we should have got way more pressure on him. I mean, just look at every other game that we've played. We've always had pressure, and it seemed like we didn't get any pressure at all. I mean, let's be real, but that's just the least of the worries that the Lions have. Um, they almost lost this game. And the Chicago Bears, no offense to them, have a young quarterback, have a young staff, and we almost lost to them. The Chicago Bears has a decent defense. They put it on Matthew Stafford. Once again, the offensive line did not hold. T.J. Lang was messing it up, was getting exposed. But, you know, we got the win, you know. But uh, Matthew Stafford, Jim Bob Cooter, let me tell you something, guys. They need to pass the ball more so than try to run the ball. The passing game is going to open up the run game. It's going to have to because they cannot run the ball. Abdullah, I mean, I love you, man, but you can't keep running the ball outside. Literally, you keep running the ball outside. You never run the ball inside to get any kind of positive yardage. I mean, just watch the tape. Watch the tape. He runs all, all the way outside. When he can't get anything, that's why he's negative when it comes to yards. Negative. Be because he always loses yards. Always. But Riddick, going forward, I think should be the starter. He runs better in between the tackles than Riddick, and he goes forward, not to the side all the time. And then you can always still use him as a scat back in the passing game. So I think going forward, I think the run game would be a lot better with Riddick right now. Not taking anything away from Abdullah, but right now, it's crucial. It's crunch time. We need to win these games, and we need to give Matthew Safford some type of chance of doing being able to do something, we got to be able to run the ball. And that's just not happening. I understand that Abdullah scored today, but, I mean, it wasn't really, it was just a, a passing play. It wasn't a run play. Our run game struggled today. Compared to the Chicago Bears, they did whatever they wanted to do. And in terms of game calling the offense, Jim Bob Cooter, I mean, it just seems like the play calling is so predictable. But the last two minutes of the game, the two-minute warning, we have a chance to run the ball, we, to, 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 to take all the timeouts away from the Chicago Bears. They had three timeouts, and we didn't run the ball. There was a holding penalty on T.J. Lang, which gave us um, first and 20. Matthew Stafford tried to run the ball instead of just going down and went out of bounds and didn't let or allow the Chicago Bears to use a timeout or the clock to run. So that was just right there, just bad management. We It, it, it didn't even have to go back to the Bears for Mr. Bixke almost to tie this game up. I mean, he had a 19-yard on a... um. A fourth down play had a 19 yard gain and a 15 yard pass to John Terrell Inman. And if it wasn't for Connor Barth missing that field goal, who knows how the game would have went? Who knows? But hey, I'm grateful for this win. The Lions have a really easy schedule, but I hate struggling to these mediocre, weak teams. The Bears would be good a couple years down the road. Right now, they're not good. I'm, I hate struggling to these mediocre teams. It's just not, are the Lions mediocre? We've seen them. I don't think they are, but they, I, 
I feel like they play to the level of their competition. And in, in terms of game management, they haven't been executing better than some of these other teams that we see, like the Patriots, Kansas City, the Raiders. Look at Minnesota right now. They're 8-2. and two. We're right behind them. A couple games behind. We can't afford to lose any games. Any games. Because Minnesota, the way it's looking, they're going to win out. They have a tough half of this. Their tough half of the schedule is it's really tough. The Lions have a really easy schedule this half, the second half of the season. So you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Swords. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out. Peace.